गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी लेट एस स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट यूनिट यूनिट टू ऑपरेशन ऑन लार्ज नंबर सो लार्ज नंबर यू नो दिस नंबर वेरी वेल एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन माई प्रीवियस चैप्टर नाउ वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डू सम ऑपरेशन ऑन दोज नंबर सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑपरेशन इन मैथमेटिक्स ऑपरेशन मीन्स वी हैव टू एड सब्जेक्ट मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड दोज नंबर so here is our chapter operations on large numbers so let us start our very first operation that is addition so our question number 1 is find the sum as i have told you that sum means addition it means you have given three large number which you have to add so it is very difficult to add such numbers directly okay so what is our first step Our our first step is to arrange these numbers vertically so that we can get our answer. So how we will arrange these numbers? So whenever you arrange these numbers, you must write the number from its ones place. So let us do. The first number is two lakh ninety two thousand three hundred forty two. So whenever you write this number, you write it from ones place. Two. Four, three, two, nine, and two. This time, when you arranging these numbers vertically, no need to apply commas. Now the second number. Again, you have to write it from ones place. One, five, six, four, five, four. Since one is left, so you can write it here. Now the next number. Nine, zero, five, one. Eight six four. Now we have arranged all these three numbers vertically. Now you will add these numbers. So how we will add? Nine plus one ten plus two twelve one carry. Five plus four nine plus one ten one carry. Six plus five eleven plus three fourteen plus one fifteen one carry. Now again add one plus four five plus two seven plus one. Eight no carry. Eight plus five thirteen, and thirteen plus nine twenty two carry two. Now six plus four ten plus two twelve, and two carry fourteen. Again one carry. So you will add four in one five, and one carry six. After adding the number, you apply the commas in your answer. Then thousand two digits. And then lakh. So your answer is sixty four lakh twenty eight thousand five hundred two. In this way, you can arrange or add any. You can arrange or add any type of large numbers. Now moving toward our next operation, that is subtraction. Now the question is subtract thirteen lakh ninety one thousand eight hundred three from. Fifty-two lakh nine thousand one hundred twenty-three. So here, whenever we do subtraction, we always subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So when such type of question is given to you, you have to arrange the numbers. So first we will write the bigger number. So which one is bigger? This one is the bigger number. So write it. And once again, how you have to write? You have to write it. From ones place, so three, two, one, nine, zero, two, five. Now, what number? Which number you have to subtract? This one. So again, three, zero, eight, one, nine, three, one. Now apply the sign of subtraction, and then you can subtract. Three less three, zero. Two minus one. Two minus zero, two. Now we can't subtract eight from one, so we have to borrow. So eleven. So eleven minus eight, three. Eight minus one, seven. Again, so ten minus nine, one. One. We have to borrow from here. Four, eleven. So eleven minus three, eight. Four minus one, three. After subtracting, apply the commas between the periods 
and you will get your answer 38 lakhs 17,320. In this way, you can add or subtract any large number. Now, I will show you that how you have to do this question in your notebook. Before we start, you just make a rough margin on each page of your notebook. Why this rough margin? Because in future we need this rough space to do rough work. Okay. Then you will start your worksheet, your unit. At the top of the page, you just write down the name of the unit at the top with the black pen as I have done in this uh, page, in this notebook. And then you will start your work. Uh, what the what is the pattern which you have to follow to write this question is that you have to do only two question in opposite side and after doing these question there must be a gap of two lines for the next questions okay so you can see here I have written all the question of this worksheet which I have explained you how you have to do so you will do your work like this and you can do your work neatly Thank you.